two guys got in this arm wrestling contest, and one guy's arm almost cracked all the way off. Then they got in this major spinning contest. Then they got in this major burping contest. One guy threw up some corn. Are you describing summer camp or a day in City Hall? It's last year's wilderness camp out with the Frontier Rangers. That's Jack talk for two days of mindless, gross-out male competitiveness. Oh, hey, Jack, do you know Pete Luxinger? Uh, sure, he's one of the Frontier Rangers' wagon masters. Jack talk for adult chaperone? Well, he sat on a barrel cactus, so he can't make it this weekend. I hear his hindquarters are redder than a baboon's rump. Oof. So, I'm going to be replacing him at the camp out. <laughs> what? Uh, Dad, don't you think you have enough work to do around here? Jack, talk for, are you sure you're for He-Man Macho stuff? Well, I was going to spend the weekend doing inventory, but it turns out Darcy did it already. Sorry, I'm a doer. Oh, this weekend will be great. Just like old times. Ah. Oh. Oh. Guessing that's Jack talk for here comes a bad weekend. <laughs> oh! Come on, Jack, maybe it won't be so bad. You don't get it, Darcy. Boys can be merciless. And with our dad not being the most macho guy ever, Jack will kind of have a target on his back. There's this one kid, Johnny Duncan, the king of pain. <laughs> one year, he rigged it so some poor kid crawled into a sleeping bag full of snapping turtles. People thought it was a great gag. But it's gonna be me in that sleeping bag. Ouch. See, that's the problem with guys. You're all about outdoing one another with your macho-ness. Which is so not us girls. I mean, we're nurturing, supportive, sweet, sugar and spice and all that. Hmm? We take care of each other. Ain't that right, sister? Mm-hmm, you got a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Please don't do that again. Hey, girls. I brought some supplies for our sleepover. <laughs> Figures. Chick flick. Chick flick, chick flick, chick flick. Bride of Chucky. Oh, I meant to grab Runaway Bride. <laughs> oh, I love that movie. That's my favorite. <laughs> At least we won't be burping rap songs all night. Yeah. No, we're gonna be making exotic fruit smoothies, laughing with each other, and watching Heath Ledger in tights. <laughs> oh, I love He's him. He's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Suit yourself. You can go get an atomic wedgie, or you can stay with us and watch every movie Amanda Bynes has ever made. Some choice. Hey, Darcy. You know, ivy's poisonous to humans, but sheep have no problem digesting it because they have two stomachs. Two stomachs? That could come in handy at Thanksgiving. So, Darce, you'll be okay looking after the lambs so while I'm at the Frontier Rangers camp out? I'll be on it like mud on my jeans. I hope that's mud. Yeah, I've been a junior wrangler for two years now. I'm still trying to get my trailblazer patch. They want me to start a fire by rubbing two sticks together. What? Why don't they just ask you to catch a fish with your bare hands? They did. That's how I got my junior wrangler's patch. Darcy, when you're looking after the lambs, remember to always keep the pen Closed. If you don't, one of these little guys could get out and become coyote food. Shh. Eli, you'll scare them. Now go. Go have a good time and don't worry. I'll make sure the lambs stay out of harm's way. Okay, but remember, you can't be too careful. <laughs> Just trying to demonstrate my point. That'll hold her, Donnie. Oh, sorry, that was me. <laughs> hey, Adams, what's the deal with your old man? Donnie, um, he's a little off his game, you know. Uh, what with uh, staying up all night wrangling a wild bull and wandered into our yard. I mean, you should have seen it. Uh, stamping its feet, charging with its crazy sharp horns. Honey, have you ever stared into the face of death? Have you? Oh, man. Hey, hey. What's going on?
on here? Well, it's Big Daddy to the rescue. Water balloons? What the heck are you thinking? I don't know. Water birds can mistake broken balloons for food. You want to be responsible for a bird choking on this, hmm? No, sir. All right, then. Lesson learned. This weekend's going to be fun. So, <laughs> what's on the agenda? Manicures? Facials? Heath Ledger? <laughs> well, I was thinking we'd just sit around and talk and bond. You know, nurturing stuff like women do. We could talk about Heath Ledger. Or we could talk about issues that confront women. Our personal relationships, how we fit in society. Or we could play truth or dare. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Forget issues. That's the great thing about us women. We just agree on stuff. I'll start. <clears throat> okay, Lindsay. Truth or dare? Truth. I have nothing to hide. Okay. Truthfully, what are your deep personal thoughts about Eli? Eli? Our Eli? Um, oh, saved by the bell. Sorry, guys, I've got to go feed the lambs. I'll be right back. Stop that. Why don't we go help Darcy with the lambs? Okay. <laughs> Little lambies are so cute. Yeah. <laughs> like you lie. <laughs> So I grab the tree with the snake still in it and just heave it out of the way. Problem solved. Wow, I can't believe it. Well, it was blocking my three-quarter ton. But... No, 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 I mean, I can't believe I found an owl pellet. I haven't seen one of these in years. You see, owls regurgitate what they can't digest. You mean, like they puke? Well, uh, kind of, but it's more like they have this, this built-in lint trap that separates the edible from the inedible. There should be tiny bones in this pellet. Uh, or maybe I just picked up a big ball of lint. <laughs> uh, shouldn't we uh, just maybe tell some ghost stories? No, no, we have to get to the bottom of this counterfeit owl pellet. Now, does anyone have a, a gray sweater on around here? I have a story. It's about a kid named Zach, who woke up with a sleeping bag filled with stinkweed and fire ants. <laughs> there you go, little sweetheart. You need some extra TLC, huh? Oh, I guess that's that nurturing sugar and spice stuff you were talking about earlier, huh? Yeah. So, Darcy, truth or dare? Ooh, ooh, I'll take dare. Okay. I dare you to kiss your cow, Zelza, right on its slobbery nose. Uh, ew. Can't I just, like, shake her paw? Ugh. Leg? That doesn't sound very sugar and spicy. I thought this game was supposed to be fun. Well, I think it'd be fun to see Darcy kiss a cow's nose. Maybe just this one time you could give Darcy another dare? Yes, please. Okay, then I dare you to shovel out the horse stalls only using a shoehorn. You're much too good at this. You shouldn't have asked her about it, Eli. <laughs> Okay, no stinkle. I'm coming for you, Jack. You just don't know when.
Right, Jack. We can do this. On, we can do this. Apparently, we can't do this. Way to go, Adams! Darcy, could you pass me the candle? Uh, I could. I can't believe you guys squirted milk all over me. I smell like a stale baby. I had to drink water out of a dog bowl. Dog water. Whose idea was a stupid game? It was yours. <laughs> Kathy, has anyone ever told you to like a goat? <laughs> Yeah, well, you sound like a chicken with hiccups. <laughs> she does! Oh, yeah, you want to talk and crinkle your nose like a bunny when you think something's funny? Huh. Here's your stupid cantaloupe. <laughs> Time to get back out there. Sack race in 10 minutes. Uh, I don't feel so hot. Uh, actually, you feel really hot. I think you have a fever. I do? Uh, it could be an intestinal bug. Or maybe it's the camping hand warmers in your sleeping bag. Busted. Jack, why'd you want me to think you were sick? I don't know. Son, I need you to be honest here. Is all this physical activity wearing you out? Is it the hiking uphill? No, Dad, it's you. Me? You can't pound in a steak, you can't catch a fish, and you think sweater lint is exciting? Because of you, all the kids won't stop picking on me. Why didn't you tell me? That would just make it worse. Then I wouldn't just be geek boy. I'd be crybaby, too. Uh, I had no idea. Maybe I shouldn't have signed on as Wagon Master. I didn't mean to embarrass you. I, I just thought it might be fun to spend some time together. Um, you can stand here if you want to. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll try to keep a low profile, and, and maybe you won't get picked on anymore. Dish it out, but you can't take it, huh? No, it's not that. Look, the lambs are gone. But the gate was shut. Oh. I think we might have accidentally unshut it. Darcy, they could get lost. And, and there are coyotes out there. I can't believe this. What have we done? We've done exactly what we accused the boys of doing. You're right. We get all mean and aggressive, and look at what happened. Okay, let's forget what we've done. Let's concentrate on what we have to do. Ew. Man, you're sticky. Jack? What happened to you? I finally managed to start a fire. Then I also burned myself. 
Which actually turned out to be a really good thing, because I passed my first aid bandaging test. Well, at least something good happened this weekend. Are you having fun? You know how there's always one kid at every camp out that everybody picks on? Oh, sure. Kid who gets chased with a brush and dunked in the pond. You left out a locked in the outhouse. It's you? Yeah. Do you have any idea what it's like having your dad around all the time, doing embarrassing stuff? Not really. My dad's usually too busy to come to these things. I think it'd be cool if he did. Really? Wow. I guess my dad can be kind of dorky, but at least he always has time for me. I guess that's a good thing. Thanks, Eloy. Sure thing. Ow! Remind me not to do that again. Hey, Dad, uh, sack race is starting soon. Wanna do it? No, it's, it's okay, Jack. You know I'm no good at that sort of thing. Neither am I. So what? Let's go get him, champ. Five and six. They're all here. Oh, yay. <laughs> I'm sorry I got a little out of control, you guys. A little? <laughs> we all got out of control. I guess girls can be just as nuts as guys. <laughs> Let's not fight again. Ooh. Unless it's over Heath Ledger. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Mount Lion. Whoa. Dad, do something. <laughs> Run! No, no, stop. Running is the worst thing you can do. The animal will interpret you as prey. Well, then, uh, somebody's got to go after no, it. Oh, wrong again. He'll see it as a confrontation. It's better to face the animal. Jack, hand me your jacket. Wave the jacket over your head to make yourself seem taller. And speak in a loud, calm voice to let him know that you're in command of the situation. Go away! Get out of here, now! Dad? It's, a, it's okay, it's okay. He knows what he's doing. He knows animals. Go away! Get! Cool. Let's see your dad do that, Donnie. Donnie? Oh, uh, Donnie? Big Don? For future reference, Cougars can climb trees. <laughs> so how'd it go this weekend? Well, we were selfish and competitive and we fought most of the weekend. We let our petty bickering get out of hand and it nearly caused a disaster. But we worked together and everything turned out fine. You know, the usual weekend. <laughs> how about you? Well, I talked a lot to Dad. I found out what a really cool guy he is. Yeah, we all really bonded. So I guess we were like you guys, and you were like us girls. <laughs> we're not. <laughs> we're not like the girls. Yeah, Jack's right. Come on, Jack. We have to go shopping for clothes. Clothes <laughs> shopping? Maybe we'll meet you at the perfume counter. We can all talk about Heath Ledger. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> good. It's like chocolate ice cream. No wrong. Pineapple. <laughs> Sorry. This is good stuff. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Well, you guys are great. I have a really cute picture. I can't. This is ridiculous. <laughs>